The community groups that have been helping to lead Denver's response to migrant arrivals have some real questions about what's going to happen if the city outsources that effort to a security company. A security company that's worked with Florida's Republican governor to dump migrants in other places led by Democrats. Here's Mark Salinger. Questions? One other question I have is are common at City Council. Are your clients there municipalities? So is Denver your first staff? With the $40 million contract on the table, two executives from DC based Garda World Federal Services say their answers can help solve Denver's migrant crisis. We will not share with US ICE any information related to migrants served under the contract. The meeting came with promises to open a shelter for a thousand people, provide food, services, medical attention, and even tickets for migrants who want to travel somewhere else. The company is Denver's top choice to outsource its entire response to migrants arriving from the southern border. It'll cost around $20 million through the end of this year, but there are questions. Contracts show Garda World was involved in a program in Florida led by Governor Ron DeSantis to fly migrants to Democrat-led cities. Today, Garda World responded, saying they only provide medical assistance. The company's president said Garda World would not be involved in flying migrants out of state if Denver awards them the contract. We understand the concerns that interstate migration relocation can cause. And we will not pursue this type of service so that we may focus on our critical work supporting the city of Denver. For seven months, Denver has relied heavily on community groups to help migrants. That would change with this contract. It is a good idea to bring someone, one entity that only focuses on that. Doesn't have to be from out of town. Yoli Casas is the head of Vive Wellness, an organization that's led the charge to aid migrants in Denver. She says the city needs to learn from what went wrong earlier this year when thousands of people arrived every day without a place to stay. She hopes whoever is chosen leans on them to help. Once a vendor is, is chosen, it's more about how are they going to come in to our city and how are they going to help us. So we talked about the $20 million price tag through the end of the year. It could cost up to $40 million through March of next year. But some of the concerns raised today is that only accounts for migrants arriving here in their first couple of weeks here in the shelters. There's no real long-term plan or budget for how to help people integrate into Colorado and get those services for months to come, Kyle. We've watched the city of Denver scramble for physical locations to house people. And these are the folks who know the lay of the land of the city. And they, they put migrants in rec centers. There are people sleeping in a parking garage overnight. Exactly. Uh, Garda World doesn't know Denver the way the city does. No. And we're told what they said in front of city council today is that they already have teams out here trying to find locations for this thousand person shelter that they say that they can open. At this point, we're not exactly sure where they're looking, although we are told that what they said in front of city council is that potentially industrial areas a big warehouse that they can house everybody. That presents a whole nother layer of challenges in terms of how do you get people to services, their jobs, so on and so forth. And how do you tell the community this is happening? This is where it's happening. All right, Mark, keep up the good work on this.